Aoki Simmons, which is the daughter of Russell Simmons and Kamora Lee Simmons. She is all over the media currently because she is dating a 65-year-old man. They are calling him a senior citizen. Now, these are the pictures that went viral, right? Which forced her to go live and like, I think she talked about the situation. And then let me show y'all. He, this is his ex. He was with her, I don't even think, not too long ago. She was on live after the photo was leaked. Oh, the photo was leaked or was that paparazzi? Check page. I don't, I don't have a boyfriend. Check page. I don't read tabloids in general, but NYF. Oh my God, Nyx or Onyx. Okay, I can't name an Onyx. I have a friend named Onyx, but Nyx is a great name. Tell me why you said NYX, and I was like, Are you recommending me a eyeliner from Nyx? How's Russell? He's actually very good. I I spoke to him recently about the Art Foundation because it's something we both really care about, and those kids like don't deserve to be everything over, putting a new. Stand Girl, you sound nervous. She like, oh my God, they didn't found out about me and my dude. If you don't raise my budget. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a clip of her telling her dad that if she don't give him, if he don't give her more money, she gonna get a sugar daddy. I'm gonna get a sugar daddy. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even have sugar daddy capabilities, right? Aren't you a B? Of course you are, right? I'm just saying, if you don't give me money, I'm gonna go, I don't know, So You're not gonna do any of that. You're just gonna raise your budget. Your budget's fine. I'm gonna be an ambassador for the meat industry. God is watching you. He hears you. I mean, that I means your higher self hears you. You know what the, you said is bad. You're not gonna do that. You're just I'm talking. Kidding, Where's that boyfriend of yours? Is he still around? Yeah, he's not. He's in. He's hiking right now. Watch if it. you don't raise my budget, I'm gonna. <laughs> Comment down below your thoughts. Y'all are wild. So you just said, "Hey, okay, girl, you just said you ain't got no man, but you went live with the dude. You can see him in the background, low key. Y'all calling? Some of my followers saved a bird. Calling each other, baby and stuff. You saved a bird, right? Yes, it was dying. Yeah, I know, I do. I want, I want a curtain. No, I know, but I just asked you. How do you say his name? Vittorio? Oh, no, 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 no. Baby, jump out and start to order to cry. Okay, what do you want? For me, a normal cry. Jump, jump no, here. No, ma'am, come close. I have to find some... See, I was making sure it wasn't clickbait. I had already seen this, but when you... I had seen him low-key. Look, 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 let me show y'all. If you slow it down. You see? That's him. Let's read the comments. They say, are you happy? Shaking my head. I know their relationship is legal, but still it's giving daddy issues. She sounds like a child. So just keep in mind, this is her dad, right? He's 66. And then the mama 48. And I had just seen a clip or like a TikTok. Kamora was like 17 and Russell Simmons was like 30 something or so. Like they have a... It's a it's a age gap between mommy and daddy, so that could play a part in why she is um, with the older dude. Look at this. I ha I met this person when I was um, in high school in St. Louis, Missouri. I was modeling. I was sixteen years old, like. I've known you and everybody knows. Again, that's documented. You can see. Uh, I believe I was maybe a sophomore. I know it was before junior prom and senior prom because I went to both of those proms alone with my friends when I was dating them. So it was definitely long before junior and senior prom. I think it was around sophomore year of high school. And again, everybody knows this in my life. You know, they know they, I was walking around, they see me. The point of it is, I've known you a long time, and I've seen lots of stuff, and I, 
just choose to not go there. Um, lots of things that I could say over the time. You know, I'm typically the one that he and others would call to have their back, right? I'm the, I'm the one that they would call to um, solidify everything, to validate everything. If you always look, whenever they get into trouble, they always want to hop up on the live and do a half screen with me. Again, this was years ago because we don't speak now. But, you know, I'm always the one that kind of puts out the fire. I'm also the one that always runs to the defense of all my friends. So this is old now, the Kimora Lee, because Kimora and Russell Simmons are no longer together. But I remember when I was younger, Kimora Lee had baby fat. If y'all didn't know, not sure how um, old or young you guys are. But yeah, when I was younger, you know, we used to wear baby fat. Her daughters are so cute. They was the cutest little girls. And now they're all grown up. And they are in the media. Well, Aoki is in the media for dating an older dude. Look at them. They're so cute. They're all grown up, you guys. What the heck? It just sucks that she's in the media for, like, the dude she dated. How long y'all think this is going to last? Her and her... I was about to say... <laughs> granddaddy. Her and her dude. Do y'all think that could be, like, true love and they can actually be together forever? I mean, probably not forever because he old, bro. Like, you feel me? Good oh, yeah, we not going. This is music. We ain't going to even try to listen to this. But this is, is this Aoki? Or is that Komori? I can't, I can't tell who this is. But I do remember seeing Aoki crying and was like, he's abusive. So he probably was verbally abusive to her. Let's see if we can find that. So just, you know, like a lot of trauma, a lot of trauma. And this could be why she's dating an older dude as well. I used to work at a refugee camp. I'll do that again. I'll be a doctor. I don't give a f I can never get a job in entertainment again. But you cannot just abuse your kids behind closed doors and not take accountability. Maybe I'll regret this when I'm older and I wanted to be a model and now I can't be. I don't know, but you don't get to do this. You don't get to do this. I'm sorry. And I, something tells me deep down that I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to regret this. You don't do that. It's wrong. And literally, I have not been able to say anything because I thought I've just moved out recently. And, you know, a lot of people, when I'm working and modeling, I'm so grateful. They'll say to me, oh, I, I met your dad 10 years ago. He's so wonderful. And I'm working, so I'm just like, yeah, I mean, there's good, there's great parts to him. And we used to be very close because that's how I make money to move out. He won't give me any money, which is fine. You don't have to give me money. I'm 20. I'm, I'm over 18. I don't know. But then I can't also speak out against him without him messing up my job. No, but I know it's going to start more drama, but it's been years. All that money, they're crying about nothing. Russell Simmons doesn't give me any money. I'm staying with my friend in New York. Russell Simmons doesn't give me a dollar. He doesn't give me a smoothie. And you're saying this starts more drama, but it's been years. I've been in the drama for years since I was like 15. So yeah, maybe it feels like we're dropping down, but I've tried and I just don't think it's fair that I have to be quiet and I can't sit in. It's ruining my job and I don't get to have a career because it's not fair. All he does is post crazy out of control stuff and we all just say like, God, like if I respond, it's going to be. This is a perfect example of like, you never know what's going on. And it, that's the, that's the caption. That's what they caption. What is really going on? She's speaking her truth. Never know what's really going on. Because they look like, they look good. They look like a happy family. And, you know, like, this is insane, bro. This is old too, y'all. But this was, what, last year? Just crazy. It's going to be worse if I respond. It's going to be worse. <laughs> I just like how to go. And I used to be so close.
close to my dad. You can see that in any picture ever. I was the closest with my dad. <laughs> I have not done anything to him. Anything he says that we've done is like, they didn't call me when I said call. They didn't post a picture of me on Instagram for my birthday. Like, we have done nothing but go to school and stay out of grown folks' business and let them do their legal stuff. And mom has encouraged that. She's been like, yeah, I mean, y'all are in college. Like, be in college. Don't worry about this over here. And it's my dad who, if you unblock him for two seconds, he starts telling you what a cunt your mother is. And now she's going to jail and she's an illegal person and she's the worst and he can't wait to watch her go to jail and die. And like, any time you unblock him for two seconds... At one point, he lied that he had COVID. And so we called him like, all right, you know, this is serious. Are you okay? And he's like, no, nah, I just faked that to tell you your mother's a piece of shit. And we're like, all right, good morning. You're 70. Like, grow up. <laughs> and I never wanted to do this because I'm, like, working so hard just to try and have, like, my own life and do what I enjoy doing. I just graduated college. I just got to New York. <laughs> I might not even have a job now. I don't. No, that will baby downfalls, you know, I guess if the name helped you get the job, I help you lose the job. I don't know. But I just feel like I did everything with so much patience and it's like, <laughs> but you're not going to text me over and over calling my mom this and that and, and calling my sister this and that and sending people to threaten my sister. He sent someone to threaten my sister at her house. You know, my sister's a nice person. She's a, a quiet person. Ming would never do this. He sent her in the middle of the night to, like, take her some papers to, like, sign away her inheritance or whatever. And then she was like, should I be signing this? And I was like, what? He, like, sends people to threaten her. And you know Ming is a calm person. So, um, as you can see, that is insane, bro. Look at some of these comments. Y'all let me know. What y'all think about this situation in the oh, comment God, section? Like They're telling her to file a lawsuit uh, for harassment against her dad. So much pain in this world. Baby girl, I'm so sorry, but work to heal you and allow others to deal with their issues. You are beautiful, and what God has for you is yours. I get it. My mom is horrible instead, but I got to move past that trauma for my kids' sake. For real. But yeah, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this whole situation in the comment section.